We found his highlight reel from high school and let's just say, um, lit. Let's check it out. Here he's barely touched for a 60 plus yard touchdown run. Before Antonio Brown would get his wish to be released from his contract with the Oakland Raiders and celebrate the big news via YouTube. They lost it, let me see it. Look at Adam Schefter. The Raiders. Free! Bro, oh, my God. Before Antonio would help the Steelers make it to Super Bowl 45 back in 2011. Look at me now. <laughs> By the time they locked me out the crib, they ain't let me in. <laughs> you even played yourself. Before Antonio Brown would be a crossover star appearing in Drake's music video for God's Plan, go on Dancing with the Stars, The Masked Singer, and would be on the cover of Madden 19, which now kind of looks a little weird. I'm really good at Madden, so we just go play that instead and, and we'll practice another time, you know? <laughs> Before Antonio Brown would clock in 3.6 million followers on Instagram, 1.5 million on Twitter, and have an estimated net worth upwards of 30 million bucks. First and foremost, we have to ask, how's business? Booming. Yeah, business is booming for Antonio Brown. That was one year deal with the Patriots. It came with a reported $9 million signing bonus and as much as $15 million per year. Not bad for a kid who once found himself homeless in high school and with little or nothing to eat while well, he was bone thin. Now he was also a quarterback instead of a wide receiver and also a local track star. Not having a stable home life while well, he struggled to keep up good grades that he needed to get an easy ride via scholarship. What's worse is that when he did catch a break, well he would get expelled from school. Now he was an all around underdog, he was smaller than a lot of the other players and he was from a smaller school. Now eventually he was a sixth round draft pick and he had to prove himself on the field to become the starter and eventually a household name. Nowadays he's considered the best wide receiver of his time and perhaps on his way to finally getting a Super Bowl win with the Patriots. But do you guys think that's gonna happen? I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCrudden back at it with an updated video on your man Antonio Brown. Here for you on Before They're Famous. Or should I say Before They're Patriots. Now football season is just starting up so we decided we would start this with a good video to kind of kick things off. But there are hundreds of NFL players that we could document that we've never done here on this channel. But we need requests from you guys on who to do next in the comments down below. And uh, if you want to be a part of our little team, the Fame Gang, well you can support our efforts by becoming a channel member or via Patreon. There are links down below, but for now, let's get into this video. Antonio Brown was born on July 10th, 1988 in Miami, Florida to parents Adrian Moss and father Eddie Brown. He grew up with his younger brother Desmond in the rough and tough Liberty City area, which is a lower income neighborhood. Now aside from being where Trick Daddy grew up, well, Liberty City, it was also home to NFL players like Eli Rogers, Elvis Dummerville, Artie Burns, Teddy Bridgewater, Sean Spence, and T.Y. Hilton, whose father actually coached Antonio as a kid, but his own father, he would have an even greater impact on his life. Antonio's dad, Eddie Brown, he is widely considered the greatest player in Arena Football League history, nicknamed Touchdown Eddie Brown. Now he inspired Antonio to play football from an early age, and while in the second grade, well, he lived with his famous father in Albany, New York. Brown had one of the greatest seasons in UM history, catching 59 passes for 1,114 yards. But then just after one year in Albany, well, Antonio, he was sent back to Liberty City to live with his mom. Now he played football at Miami Norland High School where he was also on the track team. Now his parents, they separated when he was 10 and this led to some turbulent times for young Antonio. Now he eventually, he moved in with his mom and her new man. This was around the year 2000, but then he was eventually evicted from their apartment. Now this resulted in him becoming homeless for six months during his final years of high school. It was rough, man. A lot of drug selling, a lot of gun violence, a lot of things you see as a kid that you may not want kids to see. I had to become a man quick. Now during his senior year of high school, he became so thin at the time that his friends, they would nickname him Bony Tony, but still on the field, well, his talent, it was undeniable. Now after high school, Antonio, he applied to Florida State University, but he failed to get in because of his poor academic history. Still effectively homeless, well his former assistant coach from Norland High, James Upton, well he gave him a place to crash. Now he stayed with him for a year and he enrolled at North Carolina Tech Prep to get his test scores up, you know, so they would let him play. Now at Tech Prep, he played as a quarterback in just five games. 
but it was enough to impress the folks at Florida International University who finally offered him a scholarship. But before the football season even started, well then he got into a fight with a security guard and then he was promptly expelled. Yeah, another tough break. Now thankfully, Zach Azani from Central Michigan University, he reached out to young Antonio and then he recruited him to play for CMU. The only thing was, well, they didn't need another quarterback. So if Antonio wanted a spot on the team, he'd have to play as a wide receiver. Something that at the time, well, it wasn't his particular skill set. Not only did Antonio adopt to the new position on the field, he won the Mid-American Conference Freshman of the Year award and he started in every game during his sophomore season. He also reconnected with both his parents. Now in 2010, he was invited to the NFL Combine and he showed off his remarkable speed in the 40 yard dash. And back then, he was much smaller, he seemed humble, there was no wacky hair or bleached mustache. He's almost hard to recognize. For the 2010 NFL Draft, well, Antonio, he wasn't in attendance at the event, so there's no video footage of his reaction. He was at a hotel watching it on the television with his family. Now his brother predicted that he was gonna go to the Steelers as the Buffalo Bills, they lit up his phone. The next call, it was from the Pittsburgh Steelers and there were 21 other wide receivers chosen before him. Now despite his talent, Antonio, he was not selected until the sixth round and he was number 195th overall. But feeling like an underdog has been a constant source of motivation for him. And to remind himself that he was a late round pick, well, that's why he wears the number 84. Now speaking on this, he stated, I wear 84 for a reason. Eight times four is 32. 32 NFL teams passed on me multiple times, including the Steelers. I remember draft day and how I felt sitting in the hotel with my mom waiting to be picked, how long it took to hear my name called. Every time I go out there, it's added motivation. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's pretty sweet. Now he was excited to get started with Pittsburgh, although the money at the start, it wasn't great. Now his first contract, it was for three years worth $1.28 million and a $73,000 signing bonus. Now despite the low pay, he'd have to work hard to prove himself on the field, but a catch against the New York Jets would help him bring his team to Super Bowl 45 in his rookie year. Now unfortunately for him, they would lose that to the Green Bay Packers. Now he finished his rookie season with 16 receptions for 167 yards in 10 games. During his second season, Brown, he became the first player in NFL history to have more than a thousand yards receiving and returning in the same year. In 2013, Brown became the only receiver in NFL history to record five receptions and at least 50 yards in every single game of an NFL season. Now he also continued to bulk up, he gained size, and he'd impress the world with his crazy workouts. Now off the field, Antonio, he was becoming more and more of a star. His wild haircuts, his social media presence, and gigs on television shows, well, it only boosted his profile. But on the field, there was growing tension between him and Steelers QB, Ben Roethlisberger. Ben, your thoughts on Antonio Brown joining these guys now? Whatever. For the 2019 season, Antonio, he requested to be traded. Now he shortly found himself with the Oakland Raiders before he got dropped and picked up by the Patriots on the very same day. By the looks of things, he's pretty happy with the news. Grandma, they free me! <laughs> they free me, Grandma! The dude looks absolutely thrilled. He's also got a rather large family to feed. Now he's got three sons and two daughters, Antonio Jr., Autonomy, Ali, and Antonia. Did I say that right? Someone's helping me off camera. Now Shamika Brailsford, she is the baby mama to the two older kids. And then he's got his current girlfriend, Chelsea Chris. Am I saying that correctly? No idea. Now she's the mother to the younger two. And like Antonio, she also has two children from a previous relationship, Kellen and Brooklyn. So you know what I'm saying, it's a pretty big family. It's gonna be interesting watching this guy working with Tom Brady. Now Nick Foles, he's out for the season. So there shouldn't be nothing seriously, you know, standing in their way. I don't know if he's even, that was kind of an underdog fluke thing there as well. Anyways, do you guys think he's gonna get a big W and a Super Bowl ring this season? I'd be interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. I like this man, he's, uh, he's just a lot of positive energy and to uh, overcome so much, it's fantastic to see, you know, people with a lot of heart make it to the top and take, him, take, home, take home the millions. Maybe we should do the rich life. Let me know if that's something you want me to do in the comments down below. Sorry guys, it's Monday, so I'm a little slow. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!